Berlin, die ewig junge Stadt, das ist Berlin. Berlin, die meine Liebe hat, genau im Mittelpunkt der Welt, hat sie der Herrgott hingestellt. Welcome back to the Berlin Film Festival and incidentally subscribe so that we as content creator and consumer can feel each other's love. As well as everything else, the wonderfully sweet, funny and beautiful film My Favourite Cake will contribute to the debate about whether or not repressive regimes are the nursery of artistic greatness. The Iranian government has prevented this film's two directors, Maria Mohadam and Bertash Saneha, from travelling to Berlin to attend their own premiere here. Six months ago, their production offices were raided, but fortunately the Iranian police couldn't find the film itself, whose gentle humanity is a compelling rebuke to this kind of clumsy repression. چه یه دیدم یه ماشین شیک چه سفید جلو پام وایستاد گفت بفرمایی گفتم دارم میرم زیر پل جیشا در جلو رو برام باز کرد منم رفتم قشن جلو نشستم نشست چه دو؟ با اجازت رو بعد بچه ها گفته چه خانوم من مسافرم دارم میرم خارج من هم میخوام برم صبونه بخورم شما بفرمایی چه بعد؟ جاتون خالی حلیم صبونه خوردیم بله بله بعدش هم شیچ من آورد در خونه رسون به قدری آقا بود به قدری معدب بود واقعا یه جنتلمن بود حلقم که نداشت چرا این جنتلمن ها گیر مانه می آم؟ شما چشو تو باز کنی می بینی آم همینجور رام گرفتیم مثل پیرزن ها فقط زیر پاتون رو نگاه میکنی دو قدم اون برتر شو نمی بینی این مهی سی ساله بهش می چم بابا بیگه چی رو پیدا کنی چه از این تنهایی بیای بیرون این if I had to guess, I would say that the authorities got wind of a particular scene in which the morality police drive self-importantly around a Tehran park in their van, intimidating young women who are allegedly not wearing their hijabs with enough modesty and self-hate. The 70-year-old heroine, who wistfully remembers a time when hijabs were not required in Iran at all, stands up to these uniform bullies and rescues a woman from their clutches. This is Mahin, a lovely performance from Lili Fahadpour, whose story is a meditation on love and loss, loneliness and old age, and on the price at which long-term married happiness is bought. And it's a meditation on how women come to terms with the destiny of widowhood, of knowing that they will almost certainly outlive their husbands. Mayin is herself a widow whose daughter and grandchildren live abroad, and her muted existence alone in her apartment is revealed in a series of wonderfully composed tableau scenes. She has difficulty getting to sleep and doesn't get up before noon. She waters the plants in her garden, goes shopping, and occasionally hosts lunches for her female friends, at which the dominant theme is everyone's various ailments, discussed at hilarious and explicit length. But the conversation turns to whether it's possible to find romance again at their age. Well, why not? And so Mahin, without ever quite admitting it to herself, expands and modifies her aimless daytime schedule with a secret end in view to meet a man. Mahin hangs out in the bakery, the park, at a fancy hotel coffee shop, and finally at a modest restaurant where pensioners' meal vouchers can be redeemed. And she finds herself meeting cute with Faramaz, played by Esmail Mahrabi, a modest, personable single man of her age, a cab driver and military veteran, who himself is of Mahin's independent cast of mind. He got into trouble with the joyless authorities for playing a musical instrument in a wedding band. Faramaz and Mahin have their moment together at her apartment where she offers to bake him her favourite cake and it's tender and moving, a moment of emotional connection for which they've saved up all their thoughts and feelings since becoming single. It's as if the entirety of their late life inner existences are now being poured out to each other and there's something quietly but distinctly magnificent in it. And there's a big laugh there as well. Moments like these are poignantly brief in life but many never have them at all. That'll have to be it. Please subscribe and leave a message. See you tomorrow.